is up you guys welcome back to my channel it is a lovely Tuesday night summer night might I say and I'm sitting here just chilling and I wanted to film a little video for you guys that a lot of you guys have been asking me to film in my last few videos I've asked you guys to leave your video requests for videos that you want me to do and I've seen a reoccurring theme of you guys asking me to do a video about what I learned in high school a senior year reflection all that fun stuff so that is exactly what I'm going to be doing today this video is going to be about what I learned in high school as a whole all four years and kind of but like a main focus on my senior year because that's what I remember the most if you are new here hello my name is Danielle it's very nice to meet you and if you want to subscribe down below that'd be awesome I post videos almost every day so it's a good time around here a little background about myself I just graduated high school I don't even think I've said that out loud yet. That's really weird. I was just a senior in high school. I'm now graduated and I will be going to college in the fall. I'll be attending University of Georgia. Go dogs, baby. So I thought it was fitting for me to finally sit down and talk about my high school experience and things that I learned my senior year. I will be doing another video about like a college admissions reflection and how it was applying to colleges and what colleges I applied to. All that fun stuff, I just needed to wait it out until I had everything figured out to do a video like that, so that will be coming soon. So this video wasn't too rambly, I wrote notes down, kind of little bullet points on things I learned and advice that I have for you guys. And this isn't stuff I looked up, this is stuff that came out of my mind, things I genuinely learned and I think it can apply to a lot of you. So if you're going to be a freshman in high school or you're going to be a senior or whatever it may be, listen up and let's just, let's have a chat. The first thing I learned in high school is that not everyone is going to like you. Especially once you get into high school, there's a lot more people in your grade. I mean, you could be going to a really small school. I went to a fairly small school, but it was bigger than my middle school, so I was like, whoa, there's so many people everywhere. And my intention going into high school was I'm going to be friends with every single person in my grade, all 130 people. I'm going to be best friends. I'm going to have the time of my life. I can talk to anyone I want. And that's just not exactly what's gonna happen. I'm not saying you're not gonna talk to everyone in your grade, but I'm not saying that everyone in your grade is gonna like be best friends with you all the time. I went into my freshman year, I had my YouTube, I loved drama, I loved football, you know, I had my hobbies, I had the things I liked, and there was people in my grade that were totally opposite than me, and but we totally loved each other and we got along. And there were other people in my grade that we were totally different and we just, it's not that we didn't like each other, we just didn't like, hang out or we just didn't like just like I don't know we just didn't not that we didn't get along we just like never really associated each other with each other I don't know how to explain it but at first that was really hard for me I was like why isn't this person wanting to talk to me like why don't they say hi to me in the halls like why don't they you know come up and talk to me or why don't they why aren't they as responsive as I want them to be when I try and talk to them and for the longest time I would take it so personally I'm like oh my gosh like are they mad at me what did I do and then I'd retract my steps and I'm like I've never done anything bad to this person it's just we're different people so they don't think oh my gosh like Danielle's gonna be my best friend like it's a normal thing and there's also the chance that they actually might not like you and there was times when it would really really bother me I'm like oh my god like why don't they like me but that's just what's gonna happen naturally like I don't like every single person I meet I don't hate anybody but there's people that I'm like okay not for me like don't want to hang out and that's something that you're gonna have to accept because you are you and no one else can change that so there's gonna be people that are different. The next thing I learned is that you cannot compare yourself to others, whether it be your grades, your life, whatever it may be, your looks, because that can get really dangerous. I remember my freshman year, I remember this so well, I was in my world history class and I had just taken a test, we had all, the whole class had taken a test and I thought, I did so well like I was really really confident in it I felt really good and my other friend was like oh I don't think I did that well blah 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 a few days later or whatever we get our tests back I got a way lower grade than she did she got like a 99 and it made me just rethink everything about myself people think about themselves differently people have different lives people have different brains I always thought like in my middle school I was like one of the smarter people so I thought high school would be like the same thing and it's just not like there was people in my there are people in my grade that are going to Ivy's like you cannot compare yourself and it's not like oh if I work this much harder that's not always the case you're doing the best you can at least I felt that I was doing the best I could so eventually I just couldn't compare myself when some of my friends were getting better grades than me or doing better things or you know better in sports or whatever it may be like you cannot compare yourself because 
you have different genes, you have different brain cells. I mean, everything is so, so different. Everyone is so unique that you cannot let it get to you because there was times when it would really, really kill me and I'd get home and I'm like, I don't understand why these people are doing so much better than I am. But and really, that's my personal best. That's their personal best. I might be better at something else that they're not so great at. So you always have to remember that. The next thing I learned is that friend groups will split up or friend groups won't always stay the same. And that's totally natural. It's a natural thing to happen. Because think about it, your freshman year of high school, you're totally different than your senior year self. Like, I mean, I think I'm somewhat similar to who I was freshman year, but I'm a lot more mature. I have different ideals now. There's just, there, there's, a, there's a big difference. So it's likely that you're not gonna have the same exact friends all four years, but if you do, that's awesome too. But don't freak out if you start to, you know, lose connections with certain friends. Like it happened to me. It happened to a lot of my other friends. Like it happens naturally. My freshman year friend group was like 20 of us. We had a group me. It was like called our school girlies. Like it was really funny. Um, and I love all those girls. Still, but then as the years progressed and we all like started to find ourselves more which is like a really good thing like a really really good thing and it makes me so happy it made me so happy to see like a ton of my friends like really find themselves and what they love to do and find their closer knit friends that could really appreciate what they do so naturally our group kind of sifted off into like four or five different smaller groups and at first I was like oh this is so sad like I love talking to that person I miss that person and I'm closer friends with like these three or four people but then I realized you can still associate yourself with those people separately like let's say you have your little friend group but then you can still go get coffee with one of the other friends it's just sometimes friend groups just drift off naturally and it happens the next thing i learned in high school and it's something that you guys probably all know but i must remind you things spread easily among high schoolers let me tell you you might tell someone okay i'll tell you but you cannot tell anyone not even your best friend they're gonna tell their best friend. So that's why when my best friends are like, don't tell anyone, I'm like, you're lucky. I'm not actually gonna tell anyone because the person I would tell is you. I'm even guilty of it. Someone will tell me something and it's something, you know, pretty important. They don't really want a lot of people to know. I'll still probably somehow tell like a little part of it to one of my really, really good friends because that's just what happens. And I'm sitting here telling you guys, I mean, if it was something really, really serious, there's not a chance in this world that I would tell someone because I know how it feels if someone releases something about you that you don't want other people to know. I personally don't really have any like dirty secrets or like, things I don't want people to know about, but I can respect other people's. Especially on social media, one person posts a story or a finsta or whatever it is. I sounded so mommy, like, is that a finsta? Sorry, that was really funny. Screenshot, boom, sent to their group chat. That group chat sends to friends outside of that group chat. Like, it happens. So if there's something that you really don't want to know, you have to make sure that that person will not tell anyone or talk to people outside of your school. It's, it's, it's a shame, really, that things can happen so fast. I mean, there would be times when I find out about something in the morning and everyone knows that afternoon. And it's just sad and it's hard because it can be really embarrassing for someone and it just makes me really sad inside. One of my biggest pieces of advice and something that I learned in high school is that you have to follow your heart, what makes you happy. The amount of times I saw people conform to their friends' beliefs and ideals or what their friends wanted to do just because they wanted friends and totally lost sense of their own self is unreal. I mean, the amount of times I saw it, it just makes me so sad inside. And I'm sure at one point in high school, I did the same thing. I might have done something because I thought other people did it, so I thought it was cool. I mean, not anything really bad, but like, just like little things, like it's a natural thing to happen. When it comes to big things, don't let other people's um, ideas of things stop you from doing something. I was in drama all four years. No one ever made fun of it to me. I mean, people would like make jokes like, oh, you're in drama, but like, I don't care. Like, I love it. It's so much fun. It's not for everyone, of course, but I, I was friends with people who were in my drama class and then left the class because their friends were making fun of them or their friends were saying sly comments and it made them insecure. And it's a shame because a lot of those people were so amazing on stage and they loved it. So don't let other people, what they think, about what you're doing affect you because that can affect your life in the long run. No matter what, if you're doing something you're, you love, other people that love that same thing will be attracted to that and wanna be friends with you and you will have your own friend group around that. It might take a little bit, but once people see someone that's really confident in themselves and not cocky, but feels good about themselves and carry themselves well, they're attracted to that and they wanna be friends with you and they wanna hang out. So you can find, you know, as they say, your vibe attracts your tribe pretty true. The last thing I learned slash advice that I have for you guys is 
people aren't going to remember if you missed a party or two or you didn't go to this social event or whatever it may be. Freshman and sophomore year especially and a little bit of junior year, I had the biggest case of FOMO, fear of missing out. I mean, if I was out of town and there was a party or all my friends were hanging out, I was like, oh my gosh, like why am I not there? I wish I was there to be in those Snapchat stories, to be on those Instagram posts, like to do all that fun stuff with my friends. Like people are probably forgetting about me or think I wasn't invited or whatever I thought, my crazy little mind. And then I realized that people really don't notice if you're not there. I mean, if you're not at like, a ton and ton and ton of things in a row then they're probably like oh that's weird like does she even want to be our friend anymore whatever it may be but after a while I realized if I am tired and I don't want to go to a party I'm not gonna lose my social standing not that I had one but my friends are still gonna love me they understand like it came to a point when I'd be like hey guys like I'm tired or I have a video to edit or whatever it was and my friends respected it because they're great friends and they understand that I have other obligations or you know I'm gonna stay home with my family tonight like it came to the point where I wouldn't blame it on my mom anymore I'd just be honest like I don't feel like going and that's okay and I understand that's like really hard to think about because it's always like high school you feel like you have to be seen in all these different things but then I was thinking back on it when I would be at a party and I was like oh that person wasn't there I didn't realize till they said something to me like I never would realize someone wasn't at a party until they texted me and they were like, hey, like, I'm so sad I missed it, like, what did I miss? And I'm like, oh, right, like, you weren't there. Not in a bad way, not like, oh my god, I don't even like that person, didn't even think about them the whole time, but I wasn't thinking like, oh my god, she's not here, like, she's gonna lose her reputation, whatever it is, I don't know, I, I don't know, I don't know, but I'm just thinking about what you're thinking about in your brain and I'm just trying to, like, relate, you know? So those are the things I learned in high school and my senior year in specific. I really hope this video was helpful for you guys. Like I genuinely hope so and I hope it makes your high school experience a little bit better. Comment down below if you want me to do any more videos like this. Like I plan to do like a college admissions reflections video. But if you want me to do advice on freshman year or anything of that sort, please comment that down below. Like I truly read the comments and I want to do videos that you guys want to see. I love you guys so incredibly much. Just keep doing what you're doing. Follow your heart. She believes she could, so she did. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys very soon for my next video. Bye, guys.